Hi, hello everyone. I am your Bharti Sir. Now I am going to say with you all the third poem. I am the line by Marina de Belzinta. Dear students, the poem "I Am the Land" is a very short and thoughtful poem composed by the poetess Marina de Belzinta. The poetess Marina de Belzinta is the famous writer throughout the Europe and popular for her feminist thoughts. She was born near Milan in Italy in 1949. In this poem the poet is expresses her concern on exploitation of land in excessive manner Now let's see the poem I am the land I wait You say you own me I wait You shout I lie patient You buy me I wait with muddy holes and carlot eyes i stare then someone tickles me plants life fruit grass trees children dance someone sings you come with guns a chain link necklace chokes me now i wait you cannot put a fence around the planet earth i am the land I wait. I hope the poem is clear. I mean, you came to know how to read this poem. Now, for your kind information, let's try our best to have a detailed discussion on the poem. So, let's see the first stanza. I am the land. I wait you say you own me I wait the first lines of the poem are very interesting the poem begins with beautiful line i am the land title line is again used in the very first line of the poem i am the land i wait here who is i the question comes huh i refers to land i am the land who is the speaker of the poem the land is the speaker of the poem who is the voice of the poem the land itself is the voice of the poem next he says i wait the land itself says the patience is its quality i wait suggests the patience of the land please remember patience patience is the quality of the land that's why it says in the very first line i am the land i wait it means i have patience you say you own me you means you know it man man means man in general man of the world man of this earth he says he owns me you say you own me the land speaks to man oh man you say you are my owner it is man's selfishness it shows that man is selfish he says he is the owner of the land you know that whenever a man says he is the owner of a particular land particular site particular area what does the land do the land waits it doesn't do anything it thinks that 
he is the man let him say let him say let him say that he is the owner of me but you know that whenever man gets angry whenever man gets angry he shouts you shout this you and this you refers to same person that is man please remember you say you own me i wait here you refers to man you shout again the same man man in general man in general understand please remember you shout when does man shout do you know when man is not satisfied when man is angry he shouts when man, whenever man is angry he shouts but the land lies patient it doesn't get angry like man whenever man is irritable whenever man is angry whenever he shouts it doesn't do anything it simply keeps mum it keeps mum it means it tends to be silent showing patience is the quality of the land man does all these activities over the land for his greediness like you buy me i wait man buys the land you know it man buys the land man sells the land man buys the land to say that he is the owner of one particular patch of the land man sells the land to earn money to fulfill his other needs or to buy another land big or small so land has become the commodity in the hands of man but does land do anything land doesn't do anything you know that every ins of the land either it is sold or bought by man every part of the land does belong to a man on the earth but land says i wait i wait land doesn't wait for anyone it just waits it just waits right waiting is its quality and everything will be settled correct when someone waits with patience like that land waits for some time then everything will be answered with the muddy holes and car lot eyes i stared who has made the muddy holes here man has made the muddy holes man has made the muddy holes he has created the muddy holes for example to make his life easier he has made roads on the roads you can see lots of puddles muddy holes okay and car lot eyes land observes 
the mistakes or the activities done against the land it observes with how with the car lot eyes it means extraordinary tools of perception car lot eyes see here you see car lot eyes shouting people muddy holes you see car lot eyes suggests that extraordinary tools of perception as if the earth were stirring with the lights of the car parked on it see land stares the muddy holes made by man with the help of the light of the cars which are parked on the land it means the land is not blind whatever man is doing blindly on the earth or in order to fulfill his needs but the land is not blind it's observing everything being done by man with one and the other way i hope this point is clear let's move to the next lines dear students the next line of the poem are very interesting here the land feels so happy this is joyous mood of the land we see here then someone tickles me plants life fruit grass trees children dance someone sings various activities of man we see here where man is using the land for good things and land is supporting all the good things of man how land says then someone tickles me who is tickling the land me refers to me refers to the land someone someone refers to you know that farmer farmer farmers what do they do farmer tickles the land how by plowing p l o u g h i n g by plowing the land he tickles it to plow the land he uses oxen bullocks or sometimes in modern technology ma- the farmers use even machines like tractors to plow the land whenever man plows the land land supports it because the land knows man is tickling me for goodness it expects change in man's attitude in buying and selling land is not that happy and again it says with muddy holes it's man's activity being done on the land it is not so good muddy holes which are made by man it is also being observed by the land okay now when he comes to tickling like blowing the land the land feels somewhat happy it feels that man is doing good thing man is doing good thing i have to support it this is the mood of the land next the poet is marina d belzinta uses beautiful words here plants life man plants life here on the land how does man plant life on the land you know it 
man sows the seeds and it sprouts it sprouts it becomes a plant it becomes a tree okay the land supports it man plants life to the land here how does man how does man give life to the land man gives life to the land by using seeds and by planting the saplings saplings means sasigalu sasi nedodara mulaka beeja hakodara mulaka manushya bhumige jeeva tumbuttane and land supports it bhumi adakke support maduttade for good things of man land supports man grows fruits here you see fruits and here in this picture you see how does man giving life to the land land feels happy when man puts seeds into the earth man fe- the land feels happy when man plants a saplings here this is a good thing constructive thing land always supports the man for constructive things what are the constructive things should be done by man plowing the land planting the life growing fruits see here man grows fruits on the land and land supports it land supports the trees which give fruits land supports the trees which give uh see flower leaves shelter see land supports all the trees they may give fruits or may not give they may they may or may not give fruits but land supports all the trees and no tree is useless trees are the factories of oxygen trees are the source of food fodder fertilizer you know it and they give shelter to man and so many birds and living beings land supports all the trees fruit giving trees shelter giving trees fodder giving trees wood giving trees land supports i hope this point is clear land supports the grass land supports the grass grass becomes food to animals and land supports the trees just i explained it all the trees all the trees fruit giving trees or non fruit giving trees it supports all kinds of trees it means land supports all the living beings which depend upon the land and you know that children dance here children feel happy when they are when they are in the lap of beautiful nature when they have fruits when they have see green beauty of the nature they feel happy and they will dance here the children will dance they will be they will feel happy they will dance they will enjoy the beauty of nature by dancing land supports it and man expresses his joy by singing man expresses his feelings through song man sings here singing dancing growing trees growing grass and uh, growing fruits and planting life 
and plowing the land these are all positive activities of man and land supports all these activities this is a very beautiful part of the poem happy mood of the poem the land is very happy here the land is very happy with man when he plows it when he plants life when he grows fruit when he grows grass when he grows trees when children dance on it when someone sings on the land land feels excited land feels very happy now i feel these lines are clear now let's move to the next line dear students the poet is marina de belzinta composes some lines here which are heart touching you come with guns when the land was so happy with man's positive activities being done on the land man changes his mood immediately what does man do you come see here you come with guns man comes with guns here see man comes with guns why to protect the land why well, how does he protect the land i told you every country has got borders loc line of control every loc is protected by the man how with guns man is getting ready to start war to save the borders to save the borders you imagine how man is dying for the land how man is investing a lot to save the borders of his country man may put to fence to his house man may put to fence to his land landed property 1 acre 2 acre man may put to fence around his village and protect it with guns man may put fence around his district straight country and it is happening like a chain link necklace so i was telling you something about every country has got boundaries and every boundary is protected by the soldiers day in and day out with guns and a chain link necklace a chain link necklace it is a chain link necklace it means every country has got borders l o c line of control a uh, c l o c is found around every country be the country small or big it doesn't matter but every country has got boundaries and every boundary is protected by the soldiers day in and day out and chain link necklace chain link necklace what is this chain link necklace chain link necklace is nothing but the boundaries which are raised by man around his areas it is man's selfishness the land says every man has put chains around his area his land suppose my land is one acre i have put fence around my land and i was telling you man can put fence around his village 
मैन कैन पुट फेंस अराउंड हीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैन कैन पुट फेंस अराउंड हीज वॉट स्टेट मैन कैन पुट फेंस अराउंड हीज वॉट कंट्री दिस इज अ चाइन लिंक नेकलेस चाइन लिंक नेकलेस एंड वन मोर मीनिंग ऑफ इट कैन बी लाइक दिस every country is having boundaries and every boundary is protected by soldiers holding the guns and this activity is going on all over the world and in addition to that this is choking me now choking me now what is choking here man is misusing the land man is misusing the land here for his own benefits man is raising factories okay man is using vehicles man is using vehicles okay and man is raising buildings to raise buildings he is misusing the property or natural resources like wood he is using and when he is uh, using the wood excessively deforestation is taking place when deforestation takes place you know it leads to so many uh, problems on the earth factories vehicles buildings and so many other things which we do on the earth is really disturbing the earth the land it is choking see factories vehicles what do they do they see give out emanate emit lot of smoke here they emit lot of smoke means pollution air pollution air pollution is taking place land pollution soil pollution is taking place and water pollution is taking place water pollution soil pollution and air pollution these are really choking the earth now choking the land now i hope this point is clear let's move to the next point i mean the last stanza of the poem is very beautiful again it says i wait and here we see a lot of change in the first line of the poem and last stanza of the poem there is difference between the mood of the land it says i wait whatever man does here i will see and wait if you wait you know so many questions will be answered themselves so many questions will be answered if you wait the same way i wait the land says i wait here because it says you cannot put a fence around the planet earth you cannot put a fence around the planet earth see here when man is going to be destructive the land says the land says it is assertive once again when the man is destructive the land is assertive how does it say the land says you cannot put a fence around the planet earth man can put a fence around his house man can put a fence around his house house is small 
house is small he can put a fence around his house he can put a fence around his land 1 acre 2 acre 10 acre whatever uh, amount of land he has got he can put a beautiful fence around his land man can put a fence around his village man can put a fence around his a uh, state state boundary he can put man can put a fence around his country this is man's capacity man's capacity when we compare to the capacity of the land is very very less man is depending on land land is not depending on man see man is supported by the land see a very living being has been supported by the land here man is a baby of man is a baby of the land the nature that's why man when he becomes destructive nature becomes assertive it says i wait man kaitini you cannot put a fence around the planet earth you man you may put a fence around your house that is your capacity you may put a fence around your land that is your capacity you may put a fence around your house village or tehsil district or state around your country you can put a fence that can be done by you but you cannot put a fence around the whole earth planet earth it's beyond your capacity that is my capacity ha huh? land says i am the land i wait i am the land i wait see here the last line of the poem i am the land i wait whatever you do i wait here but we see here waiting is the quality of the nature the land but it expects some change by man change is the law of the land change is the law of the land from good to bad or from bad to good our journey should be from negative to positive from bad attitude to good attitude it should be then only we are supported by the land the nature if we start our journey from positive to negative or good to bad nature won't support us the land never supports us our end will come soon like so with this i would like to express my views that express my hope that you came to know the gist of the poem and i am so happy that uh the land the land is a gift to us and we have to use this gift for our good things for our life our life is very short here as our life is very short we have to make it sweet by using the gifts of nature by using the gifts of the land with this i would like to thank you so much for watching this video and i hope it has helped you in understanding the poem i am the land written by the poet marina d belzinta if this poem has helped you in understanding please like it share it and subscribe to my channel for all my videos uh, okay see you all with one more very interesting video 
till then bye